Earlier in the Book of Mormon, in 2 Nephi chapter 1, I've always been fascinated by this language. This is the last set of, well, part of the last uh, set of instruction that Lehi gives to his sons. And be determined in one mind and in one heart. Now, what I like about this is one mind and one heart are the, are the characteristics that we give to Zion, right? Mm -hmm. Zion is those of one heart, one mind. Lehi's added something here. It's not enough to be of one heart, one mind. He's saying be determined to be of one heart, one mind. I find that intriguing. What does it mean to be determined to be of one heart, one mind? And how that can't be reciprocal. My determination to be of one heart, one mind is not dependent on your mm -hmm. right. determination to be of one heart, one Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. So it's, it's a part of this where I call almost the asymmetrical nature of the gospel. It's asymmetry. It is not balanced and reciprocal based on what you do. Right. I have to be determined to be of one heart, one mind, regardless of whether anyone else is. Right. Unity Zion only comes about if every individual on their own is determined to do this. If the idea is, I'll do it when they do it, or I'll yeah. do it as long as they're Let doing it. Let them make the first move, right? <laughs> like you've yeah. got to be willing right. to take that step and be yeah. vulnerable. Right. And, yep. That's not Zion. That's not Zion. Right. You have to make those decisions. And that comes back to the submission, yeah. the Lord's will, regardless of what happens to other people, your submission is, is has to be you. It, yeah. You have to be determined to be one heart, one mind. Otherwise, there's no Zion.